So I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with the YouTuber slash, I guess, former Vine star Gabby Hanna. And if you're not, here's a clip to refresh your memory of probably the most notable thing she's done in the past, like, five years. One after another, they've always come and gone. What if I'm the monster? Now, really quick before we can actually get into, like, the meat of the video, YouTube's really been cracking down on commentary channels for, like, harassment and cy- By the way, I have to bleep the word cy- because that gets you demonetized now, which is wild. But just to be clear, every single thing I say in this video is criticism and it's meant for entertainment purposes only. I'm not trying to send my viewers and subscribers to hate on her or anything like that. It's all for entertainment. Here's a disclaimer to everyone watching this. Do not go like attack Gabby Hanna's social medias. Are we, are we good now, YouTube? Anyway, so basically how this whole situation started, back over a month ago now, Gabby Hanna posted this clip on pretty much all of her social medias, I'm pretty sure. It mainly went bonkers on Twitter. Twitter, though, and how she does this is basically she just writes all these different insults on her face and then just like wipes it off with a baby wipe and you know bullying has been defeated. Gabby Hanna basically saved 2020 with this video, believe it or not. Now, the problem here that you're gonna see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the video in its entirety here in a minute, but where this whole situation started that actually kind of blew up today is the fact that she kind of lumps insults and criticism together here. It's kind of ridiculous. You're gonna see she puts stuff like you have a big nose on the same pedestal as manipulative and liar, which I'm pretty sure like anyone with an IQ above maybe 35 and maybe like a second grade education could kind of understand that those are two completely different things. You could kind of see, you know, the disconnect there, I guess. When I was a little girl, my mama said to me, what's your favorite flower, darling? Now get you the seed. See, here's the thing. She was doing pretty good there for a minute. You know, you had a, you had a good stretch of insults there. Those were things that would typically be considered cyber But then randomly, she switches it up to stuff like toxic and liar. If somebody's calling you toxic and liar, that's probably criticism for something you've done. That doesn't really go with big nose. I'm not really seeing the connection there. Oh, she's a child. That one's not a flower. That one's just a weed. Oh, what a shame. Now, now, once again, she puts stuff like manipulative and attention seeker in there. That's not just like a random insult you throw around on the internet. You know, if somebody's saying that to you on the internet, there's probably some kind of backstory there. Now, with that being said, another commentary YouTuber known as Pegasus with about 50,000 subscribers, he made a video about this whole Gabby Hanna side situation over a month ago. In the video, you know, it did pretty good, I guess. It got 75,000 views. It was it was nothing crazy. It didn't go, like, bonkers or anything. But pretty much out of nowhere yesterday, Gabby Hanna tweets out a screenshot of his video and says this. She says, I have six years of content, videos with tens of millions of views, music videos, a podcast, viral vines. First of all, no one's talked about vine in basically a decade now. Countless collabs and interviews on other channels. But when you watch me or search me, one of the top recommended videos as a month old hey video with 75,000 views. Okay, makes sense. Now first off, one thing to note here is the fact that instead of like taking a screenshot of the search bar or even the videos listed above it, she just takes a screenshot of the video title and thumbnail, like nothing above or below it to prove what she's saying at all. That's just kind of weird. Also, I tested this myself. I searched up exactly what she said. I searched up Gabby Hanna on YouTube. In this video, I actually had to scroll down a ridiculous amount. It was about 25 or 30 videos down, and I'm subscribed to Pegasus, and I've watched the video. Also, I think it's kind of weird how she singled out one YouTuber that's relatively small. He has 50,000. I mean, he's gained 20,000 this month. Like, the dude's been a pretty small channel for a while now. I just think it's kind of weird how she, like, singles him out on her Twitter, and she pretty much just puts him on blast in front of 2.5 million followers. Now, here's where things get pretty interesting with this whole situation. So, yesterday, Gabby Hanna dropped a new song called Special. Special, dropped a song with a music video and everything. As you can see, the video has 335,000 views, 52,000 likes. The video is on the YouTube trending page. Keep that in mind, because that's probably the most important piece of information in my opinion here. But basically, all day today on Twitter, Gabby Hanna has been claiming that she's shadow banned on YouTube, and that pretty much, you know, nobody can see her videos unless they actively seek them out. The pinned comment on the music video says, please like, comment, and share like crazy. YouTube has shadow banned my channel and won't recommend my 
my music, so I really need your help. The only thing that gets served to my viewers, or literally anyone who has ever watched my channel, is lies, hate, rumors, gossip, and slander. All my views on my music come from you guys watching and sharing. Thank you so much for being here, I'd have nothing without you. First off, the most simple thing, like, ever to rebuttal that point is the fact that she's literally on the YouTube trending page, like the most exclusive thing on YouTube. I mean, I think you can count on one hand the number of times PewDiePie has been on the YouTube trending page, and he's literally the most popular creator in the entire world. Like, you have to have some special ties. You have to be handpicked by YouTube. You know, clean slate, no controversy, best buddies with them. You have to sit down with dinner at Sujin Wojakiki's house. So I'm just kind of confused on the correlation there. If you were shadow banned by YouTube and YouTube was trying to silence you and push you down, why would you be on the YouTube trending page? That's just too like, that's like polar opposites there. Now her most recent tweet she's made here was about this whole situation and she said these numbers don't add up. I'd love to pretend the love for my music is this overwhelming, but this video should have a minimum of one mil views with this engagement. I mean, I don't know, it seems pretty realistic to me because the only people who I think would really care about Gabby Hanna's new music video would be her like core audience and fan base, so that's why the view to like and comment ratio would be so high, because you know, only her core fans would even really be clicking on that video in the first place, but who knows, maybe I'm wrong about that, and she is shadow banned, but also on the YouTube trending page. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me, but who knows. Now, I do want to show one more tweet before we end off the video, and I was contemplating leaving this out of the video, because like, once again, YouTube's policies are kind of ridiculous nowadays, but Tana tweeted just about a week ago now, should I just have a scandal soon? I'm bored. And Gabby Hanna replied, can it be with me, my views are down. Now, like I said, this is all speculation, okay? But it is kind of a weird coincidence that she tweeted this and then dropped a new music video and then the day after she drops the music video, she's like attacking YouTubers and making all these wild claims against YouTube that they're shadow banning her and all this crazy stuff. But obviously it's probably not true. That's just some, you know, tinfoil hat stuff there. But anyway, that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelexYT, and other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.